question of the day. Is there such a thing as too many spiders? No, but I am close. I have tons of slings hatching out right now. I have Postlotheria rufolata. And you can see that these are second instar. These here on the lid and all around are their first instar molts. And this is not a huge clump of mold. This is egg sac and then wet paper towel so they can drink because it is July. I am in the desert and it is super hot. This is Hapalopus species Columbia large. Turn up your microscopes because they're teeny weeny. Half of these do belong to Aram, also known as Jack the Jeweler. I am separating all these babies out. Tons of babies. Get ready for your box, Aram. Then, right here, I have my OBT mama with her first instar babies. Notice the vermiculite on the bottom. I had one viewer ask me to change substrate but I'm going to hold fast to what I know and believe in that works for me. I've been using vermiculite for 20 years. Now, in different climates, other substrates may work better for other people, but I personally think it's a win for hot, dry, cool, humid, arboreal, terrestrial. It just works for me. Although when I replied, he commented back and said, I love you. I just wanted you to comment back to me. So. Hello, you. Anyway, this is a couple of babies that I have. I'm going to be rehousing these 1,500 or so kids today. And I have a long day of exciting work ahead of me today, so I better get going. See you guys soon. Love you.